Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 3 In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the recent Vesper buff, VMP nerf, FFAR buff, HG40 buff, and the Man of War buff. Been a huge patch update when it comes to weapons. Got a lot to talk about, but before we do, I'm going to give a quick shout out to the Ultimate Gamer giveaway. It's ending in about six hours, so if you wanted to enter, now is the time. First link down there in the description. There were some relatively straightforward changes to the specialist. The Outrider Sparrow ability has faster arrow charge time, or faster arrow draw back and you don't get the ability faster and a faster rapid fire rate so basically you can just shoot arrows way faster and Prophet's Tempest got a narrower beam size therefore requiring you to be accurate instead of just kind of spamming it all over the place which is my personal favorite strategy but then when it comes to weapons things get much much more interesting one of the supposed buffs was the Man of War was supposed to get a reduced reload speed and reduced aim down sights time according to the official patch notes anyway However, after looking into it, the Man of War buffs do not appear to be active, at least not on PlayStation 4. I don't know if they will be on Xbox One or PC when this patch comes out, but somebody at Treyarch kind of goofed up here because the Man of War did not get buffed. In order to offer proof of this, this is the current Man of War aim down sights time, and keep in mind the old ADS time was 300 milliseconds. The 317 right there is probably frame rounding on my uh, capture card. And the old Man of War reload time was 2 minutes 23, so I'm uh, not 2, not 2 minutes. 2.23 seconds, almost screwed up my words right there. But you can see the new reload time is basically the same, only one frame different of rounding, so it definitely hasn't been buffed, at least not compared to something like the FFAR, which got an aim down sights time reduction from 300 milliseconds to 250 milliseconds, making it much, much faster. And I think that was kind of what Treyarch had in mind. I just have a feeling that the FFAR and the Man of War were supposed to get the same ADS buff, but it seems like it was only applied to the FFAR. Not only did the FFAR get an aim down sights time reduction, but it also got a hip fire box spread reduction, so it now has much tighter hip fire spread, and it was one of three weapons that got a recoil reduction. The Vesper, MX Garand, and FFAR all got reduced recoils, and uh, I don't have the exact numbers on those yet. We're doing hand testing here today, but I'll go ahead and show you exactly how they perform. This is the Vesper, first of all. It's probably the one that the pro players and the pub scene is the most interested in coming back. I will say that it is still a high recoil weapon, probably the highest recoil SMG, but subjectively it feels better, it was easier to use, though I'm going to tell you I don't think the recoil reduction was very strong, especially when you see how high it kicks up right there. The next one was the FFAR, I feel this recoil reduction was probably the most significant for the first time ever I was able to use the FFAR without a foregrip and without one of the recoil reducing sights, so it felt tremendously better, but again unfortunately we do not have the data from PC so we don't know for sure. And finally, we're coming up on the MX Grand. This one got a recoil reduction, or it says increased recoil stability. I'm not exactly sure why or what, and honest to goodness, I could sit here and shoot this wall and test it all day, but it was a very, very accurate weapon to begin with, so I don't think many of you will even feel the difference here. I just really wouldn't even worry with it if I were you guys. I mean, look at, look at the spread. That's basically the same as it was before. Next change I know the majority of you are interested in is there is an increased recoil on the VMP now or it says reduced recoil stability in the official patch notes. Basically, the VMP is supposed to kick more to make it less of a go-to, less of a crutch, less of a uh, pro scene dominant type weapon. And this is the new recoil pattern. I used it today, and I personally did not feel much of a difference, but the recoil pattern on the wall here was just about god-awful, so they've definitely tinkered with it a little bit. Just thought you guys should know, and I think in the pro scene you're going to see more Vespers and less VMPs coming out. Moving along, the CUDA unfortunately got hit by the nerf hammer. That's one of my favorite weapons in Black Ops 3, so I wasn't very happy with it, but for some reason Treyarch decided it needed a little bit of nerfing. The CUDA got its three-shot kill range and its five-shot kill range is reduced, but that doesn't change the four-shot kill range, which was one of the better parts of the weapon, and we'll do some testing to show you both. This is me shooting at J-Hub, trying to figure out what the three-shot kill range is, and as you can see, even at very, very close, like, point-blank kind of ranges, it didn't kill. It's got to be like a meter, maybe even less on the three-shot kill range, so that was a pretty huge nerf to the CUDA in that respect. However, its five-shot kill range is still fantastically far away. I mean, look how far away this person is, and I still managed to kill them in five shots. I definitely wouldn't worry about this weapon's long-range capabilities, but up close, it's going to get a lot dumpier. 
And finally today we have the HG-40. The HG-40 got its three-shot kill range buffed. I think the idea was to make the weapon more competitive because it was kind of like a worse CUDA overall because of the low fire rate. Here's me and J-Hub testing on the same map just after the CUDA test, trying to figure out what the three-shot kill range is on the HG-40. And I don't quite get the three-shot kill at this range, so I have to scoot up a little bit. But I am actually very impressed by the fact that the HG-40 can three-shot kill at this range, because that outperforms a good number of assault rifles in this game. I think the HG-40 is going to be a little bit easier to use, but the low rate of fire is still going to be problematic on that weapon. Overall, this was a relatively massive patch to the game. It's definitely going to change up the pro scene in terms of Vesper versus VMP. And for those of you that have DLC weapons, your HD40 got better, and I think the FFAR got significantly better. I mean, it got three different buffs. It got increased recoil stability, which is one of the weaknesses anyway. It got the hip fire tightened, which was another weakness, and it got it aimed down sight speed decreased, which was another weakness. So the FFAR is pretty awesome now. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous episode was on the best score streak setups, and the next episode, I gotta keep top secret for now. Drifter out.